All right, man, peace. You know, in the midst of uh, Cleveland Cavaliers versus Golden State Warriors Game 2 NBA Finals, they had a promo for a film that I've done, uh, I've touched on a couple times, the series, the Planet of the Apes series. And what they did was they placed a promo for the new Planet of the Apes film right adjacent to the NBA Finals. And by the slogan that they used in the commercial to promote the film, they're going to show you, at least those who have a spiritual eye, once again, like I've stated, that the apes are talking about the so-called black man. Right? It's a parable or a metaphor for the so-called black man. Watch how they frame it as they go out of the NBA Finals. They're going to fade into the promo for the movie, and they're going to use the same terminology that you see for the uh, championship round of the, of the NBA. Watch what they do. All right, NBA Finals, the Finals, right? They fade out with LeBron and Steph. We go into the Finals. Now you see here, before the final battle. Before the final battle. See the final trailer. See the final trailer. You see what they did? You see what they're doing, I should say? They fade out from the program with the NBA Championship, the Finals. And then they're going to fade into this promo, uh, specifically highlighting the word final. Final trailer. War for the planet of the apes. So basically, they're basically subconsciously, they're calling the NBA Finals the war to rule over the planet of the apes, talking about the NBA. Of the apes. Now, in this promo for this film, obviously they've done, they've utilized a uh, cinematic ploy that I've highlighted in the past, which is have a, a young white female character being protected by the quote unquote apes, which, like as I've stated, represents the uh, so called militarized black male, so called black male. It's a tactic that they use oftentimes in films with black males to try to uh, humanize them. They did it. They've done it in the past numerous times, oftentimes with Denzel Washington, sometimes with Will Smith. But they'll do it in most of their action movies like Man on Fire, uh, Denzel Washington. That was definitely the uh, main film that, that I can think of that he did that. But they're going to do it again in this promo. You see that? They have the uh, young white girl. They're supposed to be the apes are supposed to be fighting for their freedom and fighting, uh, fighting for the uh, control of the planet. But they have to have the young white female on top of the large, overgrown ape representing the so-called black male to humanize the ape to make the film not appear to be what it actually is about, which is about. The uh, confrontation between the so-called black man and the so-called current rulership. All right, so they throw, they try to throw off the viewing audience by having the and, and to humanize the apes by having them uh, develop a bond and a relationship with a young Caucasian female. Do in the greatest war, and you can tell them I fought to protect this world. Had on his helmet, monkey killer. We created them. But now, we will bring an end to their kind. A lot of coded language. This 
Apes Together Strong. That's been a uh, theme slogan for this Planet of the Apes series. Apes Together Strong. If you ever seen the movie Rise of the Planet of the Apes, there's a scene where Caesar has two sticks and he puts the two sticks together. And he says, Apes Together Strong. The two sticks is in reference to the book of Ezekiel, 37th chapter. All right. Going to take the stick of Joseph and bring them together with the stick of Judah. All right. You hear what he said too? Uh, 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 what's this guy's name again? This actor, this Caucasian actor. I can't remember his name. But he said, uh, <laughs> he said, you're impressive. That's oftentimes what they'll call a so-called black male who's not the average uh, stereotypical black male. You're impressive. You're different. You're articulate. Right? Where did you go to school? Now look at this. They show the character, the lead ape, Caesar. He looks like he's throwing a grenade. But on the gas tanker, it says the beginning and the end, a.k.a. the Alpha and the Omega. All right? There's a title for both the Most High and Christ in the book of Revelation. All right? I really just wanted to show you how they transitioned, how they went to commercial break from the NBA Finals to this promo. Because they were, they were trying to, to uh, communicate to you subconsciously and subliminally what the film is actually about. And also how they view the so-called black male in the NBA. He's nothing but an ape. Alright? I'm going to rewind it after this promo. War for the Planet of the Apes. July 14. War for the Planet of the Apes. Good film. I'm definitely going to go see it. I always go to see the Planet of the Apes films. But the point being, I just wanted to highlight what they were showing. Right. Once again, I want to show it one last time. They show LeBron and Steph Curry. Right. So-called so-called dark-skinned black man. So-called light-skinned black man. Right. Two different types of apes. Right. They got in the Planet of the Apes film, they have the so-called dark-skinned black man analogized as the gorilla. They have the so-called light-skinned black man analogized as the chimp. All right. See how they go. Watch how they're going to transition from the NBA Finals to the promo for the new Planet of the Apes film. All right. The finals. Before the final battle. Right, see the final trailer. That was a play on words. They're saying, watch this promo for this movie before you go back to watching the basketball game. Okay, the final battle they're talking about is actually the basketball game. Right, it's a double meaning. It's not just talking about the movie coming out July 14th. It's talking about the it's talking about the game. Right, the final battle, the finals. Right, see the final trailer while you're watching the finals. All right. The war for the planet of the apes is the finals. All right. The NBA finals. Apes. But that's it on that. I just wanted to show you guys that it is what it is. I'm, I know I'm going to get some people in the comments. Does everything have to be that deep? Can I scare something just be a commercial? Nigga, please. But anyway, peace.